Hi everyone. There's a few things that really, really bother me. There's only a few of them, but when one of these happens, you know, I stand back and question why this is allowed to exist. You know, one of these items is having programs for people who need them, but the people that need them aren't attending or don't know about the event or whatever it is for them. I was out on Monday. I attended a seated exercise program. There were some new members and I noticed a struggle for a few people to do with hearing. There's a term known as classroom audio distribution systems. What that refers to is a sound system where the presenter or the teacher or lecturer is wearing a microphone basically similar to myself when I've given the message at church and it goes to a transmitter and that room is turned into a small radio station so that people with the hearing device may hear what's actually being said because the volume's able to be amplified around them, you know, through earbuds or, you know, headphones, but it doesn't blast or give overpowering audio for the people whose hearing is much more, you know, better or have better quality of hearing. So I just want to spend two or three minutes sharing with you the simple outline that I've prepared that I'm going to bring to this healthcare facility um, later this week. The first thing I found was an information page titled the Classroom Audio Distribution Systems. It's an outline of this. It's the nuts and bolts of why you want to do this. And I found this article by a prepared authority on the issue. The second part of this is the very practical what you need to know to set this up. So the first thing that you'd start with is some type of microphone and receiver. So a wireless microphone. This model goes over your ear and then this is the receiver elsewhere in the room to hear it. You're not looking for something that's powerful because you're going to set this up in a classroom environment. I mean, you could set this up in a church or an event space and need a, a bigger or more powerful model, but for a simple classroom, this would be fine. The second device that you need is one that rebroadcasts the audio. So the audio cable comes out of this device and then it connects right here in the input mode. And that makes the radio station and then, of course, on the front of it, you set the channel that you want to be broadcasting on. You know, you're not setting yourself up as a radio broadcaster that's airing the latest music to the community. You're making sort of an internal computer network, but this is for audio. And then finally, a Walkman of some sort that has a digital control for the station number is needed to receive the audio. So either this would be a device the participant owns or the organization, event space, church, school, etc. would buy a series of these and loan them out to the people who are attending. Ultimately, what you're doing is enabling communication. And, you know, I want to be able to see people who are making the effort to get out of their home 
and do something with their life, be able to take part in it. And that's really what eats at me in these circumstances. So I share this with you. It's something that could be adopted in a school setting for a child that has a learning disability or learning impairment. There's any number of applications, but it's about giving quality of life. It's about being or instilling dignity and respect to the individual. Now you could present this in a way we offer this, or you put a sign up on the bulletin board and just announce that it's available. And you may see people that are struggling to hear and then you approach them asking, could we share this with you? You're not wanting to enforce it or force it on somebody. That takes away the dignity and the independence and it's almost dehumanizing. So it's a service that's offered. Really important that you remember that point. Anyway, I share this with you. I hope you'll make good use of it. And this doesn't have to cost thousands of dollars. It all depends on what the need is. And the reason I talked about choosing a station that broadcasts the audio is because if there's multiple classrooms, you'll need to make sure that every classroom is on a different frequency. Being able to set the frequency and change it's important, or you just assign different frequencies to different rooms. My two sort of words of warning are to spend a little bit of time and find out what the rules are governing this type of thing where you live. You know, when I've had questions about different issues, I've either gone to City Hall or the local police force. It all depends what's going on in my life. I tend to find organizations respond well to when you ask questions, opposed to when you're in the situation and are needing to ask forgiveness because you've already done whatever it is. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for this time that you've spent with me. Bye for now.